Welcome to Sunshine Art and Drawing. Today we're doing the Kaleidoscope Make Your Own Rainbow Animals Scratch Art Kit. It's another one of these Kaleidoscope Kits. I'm really enjoying these ones. In this set you get four self-adhesive scratch art sheets. These are like rainbow coloured sheets with the black scratchy kind of stuff on the top. Um, and you scratch them off and make a pretty design. It also includes 12 animal stencils. They're two sheets of animal stencils. They're not very strong. They're made of cardboard, so be super careful with them if you do buy this kit. You also get a bamboo scratching little stick thing so that you can do the scratching easy. You don't have to use a pen or anything like that. And the stencils themselves are not very strong. It would have been cool if they were plastic. It does make them really hard to use sometimes because the little bits and pieces that aren't quite connected, they kind of move and wriggle. So it's hard to get a nice neat design, especially if you're a little bit of a perfectionist like I am. It's this kind of like rainbowy designed paper that's very, very, very shiny underneath the um, black scratch off material. So that's why I've moved the camera a bit and kind of angled it in a way to try and stop that light from reflecting so badly. Like it even looks like now, as I'm scratching, it looks like it's white underneath. It's not, it's like green and yellow. But it's really difficult to see. But once I'm done, I'll bring it up a bit closer so you can have a look. This one here was quite fun. I did the little whale as well as a hippopotamus at the top. And on the next one, I kind of do my own design. I'd recommend just having a bit of a, um, a go at these ones. They're really fun. It's kind of hard to find just this scratchy paper stuff by itself. I have seen it on apps like Wish and on eBay, so I might do a little bit of a wish haul. If people are excited about that, let me know. It will take a little bit of time to gather the supplies, but I would love to do that. And the other part of this is that you can kind of personalize these little stencils so you can fill in the little dashes that are there from where the stencil joins to the backing and you can also use a little brush to brush off all the little stray little dots that come off as you scratch. It is a bit of a messy job so I'd recommend if you're working on a surface that you'd like to keep nice maybe put a little mat down like I have or draw on top of a book or something just because the little black dots get everywhere they make your hands dirty and it's kind of like almost, it feels like a, like a charcoal-y kind of substance. I don't know. It just gets on everything. So I'd love to learn how to make these. If you'd like have a video on how to make these scratchy cards, I'm definitely looking towards getting a good recipe for them, getting some nice cardboard, and we'll make them together. So that's another video idea I have in the works so that you'll be able to make this scratchy stuff yourself. I'm pretty sure it just uses like glue and acrylic and something like scratchy, kind of like either charcoal or sand. But something like that to make it a bit more like flecky so it scratches off easier um but other than that you can kind of make your own designs i'm going to put some music on now and you can pop back at the end and i'll give you a bit of a review Coming back, I'm just doing my own little design here. I thought I'd do a bit of a geometric kind of shape thing with little squiggles and swells. Made a really pretty background and I actually ended up sticking this in my scrapbook at the front where the cover is, just as a bit of a decoration. I did sort of like stripey parts and then in the squares I did little spirals. So I really enjoyed this. I want to learn how to make this myself. I thought this would be a fun way of kind of 
having a feel for what this stuff feels like and maybe seeing if I can replicate like the same thing myself. So I hope you have a sunshiny day. Thanks so much for watching.